kid, it is no turning back. I see where um, where that individual from the um, great ones are scared for things. Uh, this truth is not a fun. You know, this rise, this moment, and this and this fear though. Run, it's coming back. And I people feel very much that. You know what they are here about because the Lord was not around in our sense, right? But the Lord is coming back. So when this when the moment it start, that was the beginning of the Lord coming back. And the scripture tells us that when him come, he never leave again. Yes, not exactly everlasting. So this is the beginning of the Lord return. So, so there's no way you are look this city. If you are looking this thing, come back now, then out there that mind now. Exactly. Because the Lord comes spiritually first. See if we, if we, if we, if we take out the, the precious fruit and do him. Because if you come back carnally, a lot of people are going to come and say, Boss, you know, they will be faithful servants. They have a saying, and the um, wicked people are Jay-Z, you don't know when you get it from what you just want to say. The best way to look at somebody is to not look at them, yo. So the Lord not being here now, he's here, but he's not here. It's not here in the flesh, yeah. but the Lord there in the spirit, right. and that's the reason why the world is being judged at this moment. See, men, we're supposed to teach this truth and get judged at this moment, as a matter of fact. Um, you have a scripture? I'm going to read up the bone and the vineyard. Yeah, man, we have a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you that you will avenge them speedily. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, Shall he find faith on earth? Yeah, because this generation is a faithless generation. But the day, show you, the last of shall, shall he find faith, find faith? The Lord is going to find faith, but it's not going to be so small. The, the, the amount of people who have faith in the Lord, it is a small remnant. It's, it's not like the masses are the majority. See? Very small um, remnant. And it's a um, Matthew 20, verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Right, as a matter of fact, give me the scripture which is the vineyard, Isaiah. Isaiah 20, verse 1. Because we are getting the meat off right. See? Verse 7, 5, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 7. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. Right, so the vineyard of the Lord is what? The house of Israel, which is what? The, the northern kingdom. Go ahead. And the men of Judah is pleasant plant. The men of Judah are his pleasant plant. And he, and he looked and he looked for judgment, but before oppression for righteousness. As a matter of fact, the whole um, twelve tribes. Sin. The whole the whole twelve tribes. Sin. Go ahead. And he looked for judgment, but the whole oppression for righteousness, but the whole of crime. Right, so for righteousness. See, guys, see, that's the reason why we need the Lord to make a return. Because we are oppressed. That's the reason why we will labor. And if and if and if you're not feeling any form of oppression or any squeeze, then in a minute sense you're you your labor to, to leave. The scripture said the captive exile, he is in the day that he may be loose. He is so. That's what the scripture said. Go ahead. Isaiah 1 verse 5. Why should he be stricken anymore? He will report more and more. And the whole head is sick, and the whole heart dead. Yeah, the whole head is sick. From the sole of the foot even unto the head, there is no soundness in it. From the sole of the foot to the head, there is no soundness in it. Because if you check even your government officials, the politicians, and them, they were fucking fool as well. They were okay. sick. If, even physically in their them body, a lot of them sick. And spiritually, you see? Sick as fuck, cause what we don't have the the, 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 the greatest physician any at all. See, the man was supposed to plant good things in the vineyard. Yes, I say to myself, make your food be a medicine, and your medicine your food. Boy, he says, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores, they have not been closed. Need about up. Need a mollified with ointment. See? I just 
that's over my arm, you know? Going back to Matthew 20, verse 2, it says, And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went up out about the third hour. And, and, and what's the penny a day? The kingdom. Because the kingdom is, if you find out mine, you read this, you think, you think, you think, you think I want to get a penny. See, we just be for the kingdom. Because all of us come out, come out here to obtain that promise, that penny a day, which is the kingdom. See, go ahead. And he went out about the church hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle. And, 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 and that are no, you have men. There's men who are actually idle at this moment. And the spirit, the spirit of your bash and your shine, um, show them up. And that's the reason why Queen, see, even though I really want to mention him, is so mad at great misfood. Because the spirit found him idly. Now winter, you're important him a struggle up. Exactly. See, and, and guess what? And that caused a whole corruption. A lot of men fall idly. See, sometimes even me I say, oh, me I idle. See, I try to pull up my socks. See, so when, when, um, when rebukes, you know, you know, you know, and it's not necessary to get thrown at me. But when brothers are cut, cut on, on, on YouTube, say, brothers are joke, brothers are play. See, me, myself, I get cut. Because me I say, shit. Should I do a work? Should I labor right now? Do a video? You understand? Something like that. Yeah, you keep on a search yourself and find out the problems that we have on, on, on the inside. Hey, see? I'm going to get a resource to tell us that you have video to it. Exactly. So, um, so, and about the 11th hour he went out and found others standing idle and said unto them, Why stand ye here all, all the day idle? And he said unto them, Because no man had hired us, he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall be received. Right, and whatsoever is right, that shall be received. And ultimately, they're supposed to receive the kingdom. They will receive the fruit and the spirit. They will receive grace. They will receive the knowledge and wisdom of the Bashem, Yahshua, the Lord and Savior. And they will receive the Bashem, Yahshua, the Lord Exactly. Sin, which is right. And that's what you're going to receive. So when, so when evil was come, the Lord of the vineyard said unto his Lord, Call the laborers and give them the hire, right. beginning from the last unto the first. Right, so begin from the what? From the last unto the first. The Lord can do that. I'm hire you. You can do that. Go ahead. And when they came, and were hired from the eleventh hour, we received every man a penny. But when the first came and supposed they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good man of the house. And this is the reason why you can't be carnal, because I'm okay, supposed to get a penny a day, right? No, if the ones who are work, say, five days before, um, the second batch, they're supposed to receive more penny a day if it was like here in the East House Society, they get, um, they get, um, so 50 dollars a per day, but, but, see it? So he now speak about that. He now speak about something spiritual. See it? He now speak about the kingdom. See it? Which, which, which we live and receive. Hey, no. Hey, you have the lot portion down from the one you the Lord and the one you the Lord. As a matter of fact, the Lord can kick your ass out at the last minute. I don't receive no at all. Furthermore, um, brothers, I, I prophesy over this dispensation of time and all that we prophesy the same amount of time. Okay. See, because the Lord has split, has split the job evenly for everybody. See, the, hey, if, if at one point, if at one point he wasn't put to death for the truth, then maybe at this point he'll put, put to death for the truth. See? Because the Lord will give everybody the right portion. See? And when they had received 
received it, they murmured against the good man of the house, saying, These laws have brought up one hour, and thou was made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Is not thou agree with me for a penny? Take that is that take that thine is and go thy way. I will give unto you this last evils and even as unto me. Is it not lawful for me to do what I will to my Lord? Is that I evil because I am good? So shall so the last shall be the first, the first last. Yeah, because back then if, if you if you go sleep before certain brothers, you will wake up before certain brothers on this side. See, because you're psycho. The last thing I say in judgment is like a two hour. A ring. See, so everybody get them, them, them see a share of the deal. See? That's right. Yes. For many be called, but few be chosen. For many be called, but few chosen. Right? Hey, um, so many be called, but few chosen. And, 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 that's, and, that's, and that's the key thing. Few are get chosen. A few are get chosen. See? And that's the reason why you fear. That's the reason why you fear. And you can go um Hebrews of chapter 10. And we call to remember when you were um illuminated. So um Hebrews 10 verse 30, 32. Have you got one? Yeah, anyway, hey, Alright, um verse 31. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And that's, and that's fine. And that's the key. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of Jehovah and the devil the Father and his son, the outside. Because the Lord can do crazy, hey, the Lord can do crazy stuff, crazy, crazy stuff. The Lord can make you wish you never born. See? The Lord, the Lord, the Lord can push more pressure for you so much that you, you want to end yourself or shoot yourself in the head or you want to poison yourself or something like that. That's what the Lord can do unto you. Because it is in the power of the Lord to do that. And that's the reason why you fear him. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Alright? But call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, uh -huh. you endured a great fight of affliction. Right? Go ahead. Hardly whilst we were made of years in stuff, brought by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst we become companions of death that were so used. Right, sir. Hey, we, all of us become a part of that, 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 that the ministry as fools to, um, to, to, to the dead of this world. Hey, and I'm just like I'm going to go to the military or our police force. When you go to the military, you have a mindset to look at everybody going to the military live a certain lifestyle. It's a life of um, straight to training, roughness, you know. You go out for your family, see your family, your family. So you barely get it to do certain things for the average one with a base can do you because what? That are the lifestyle of the army. So they have the lifestyle of the, of the prophets and those of you are washing out shy you. And the martyrs come with what? Afflictions, reproaches, being put to death, suffering you. You need it. Right? But, but not, not to um, not, not to the detriment of the prophet, but to them being, um, being a servant for them, right? And basically, are, are reaping the rewards and them working. 